Hi, I'm Narid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mask stuff in Game Maker Project. So you can see in here, uh, there is a circle around my mouse. You can put whatever you want instead of this circle, whatever sprite or shape you can use. And when you hover over anything in whatever layer you want of your choosing, you can mask stuff. And you can see when player is behind this tree, you can see it. And you can create a lot of cool gameplay with this, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. First thing first, I should tell you that it's easiest way to do this. Don't worry about it. I will show you fast how you can do it but first you need to know some things about surfaces surfaces is just too easy to do i did create a lot of video for surfaces and you know how to do it by now okay yeah so the surfaces is uh, when you play your game you're playing your game at the application surface uh, let me just run this game to show you what application surface is so this is the application surface all this sprite and our player is drawing on application surface but we can create our own surface and draw whatever we want in that surface and do whatever we want with that surface right so that's that's how we're gonna do that surface that masking in game maker so let's just close this first thing to do i want to add an, an object for having this um, mask effect okay so let's just create an object in here let's just call it obj mask or whatever name you want i put it in this control because i want it to be as readable as possible and you know from my videos about platform and beginner i'm all about easy to develop and readable codes okay so now that we have this object let's just create a draw event okay we need a create event as well so first thing first i want to create our surface okay so i want to say it tell it mask surface i want to name it mask surface or whatever you want and equal it to minus one so in draw event we can create that so we don't need to do anything in this create so let's just close it we need to create that surface in our draw event first thing to do you should say if surface doesn't exist so you say surface exist with this you say if surface doesn't exist and you should give it a name the surface that we want to check is mask surface if this surface is not exist so let's just create it okay we say mask surface equal surface create and with this surface create function you should give it a width and height i want to give it a room width and room height room height and with that game maker will create a new surface for us okay now for drawing to that surface we should set the target of drawing in game maker to that surface how we can do that we can say surface surface set target and we give it the id of that surface that we create that is mask surface and after this whatever we write after this it will be drawn on that surface okay at the end of all of those draw code that you want to do you should say surface reset target okay so with this you set it with this you reset it to application surface so this function will set the target to the application surface and after that whatever we draw it will draw it to application surface so what we need to do in this surface set target First, we should decide what layer we want to use, okay? So let's just open up our room. And in here, you can see we have a lot of layers, okay? One for instances that our player is, and one for uh, uh, ground, and one for background, okay? We don't need to mask this ground and background because our player won't be behind them. But these alien world trees, that are these trees in here, trees and bushes, it will, a uh, player can go behind them and we want to mask this, uh, trees and bushes to to player can see its character through them okay so we need this layer okay so hit f2 on it for renaming but we don't want to rename it we just want to control c to copy its name okay so after that we go to this surface set target and we get the idea of that layer that we want to um, mask okay so layer get id okay and for the name we did copy the name okay so no, we have the id and we should put it in um, a variable so i want to call it tile layer id so you see this this layer is tile is tile set layer okay so we i, I did name it tile layer id okay so that's how you are going to do it and know that we have that id we can get that tile layer okay all the things that is drawing on them okay so for getting that we can say layer tile map 
get ID. We get the ID of that tile map. Okay, so for input, we should give it a layer ID. So we did get the layer ID from here. So let's just copy and paste it. And I want to put it in a variable. So I name it tile layer. Okay, so now we have that layer that is tile set. We can draw that tile map. Okay, so we say draw tile map tile map okay so first we get the idea of the layer that we want to draw on our new surface next we get the idea of that tile layer that is tile map and we want to draw all of these trees and bushes okay to our new surface so now we can say draw that tile layer and for the x and y draw it from zero and zero so at the upper left because uh, the anchor point for getting all these um, these trees and bushes is this zero and zero so we put zero and zero in here so next thing that i want to do i want to draw this surface for us for me to show you what happened till now so let's just after this reset target we can draw it right so we can say draw surface and give it the idea of the surface that we want to draw that is mask surface okay and where we want to draw it is at zero and zero okay so and before doing anything else i want to deactivate this layer okay if we don't deactivate it the mask won't work so let's just deactivate it by saying layer set visible give it the layer id that we want to in make it invisible and the visibility i want to be zero so the false okay false or zero Bo both will work so now before we run it let's just go to our room go to asset and add this obg mask to our to our instance layer okay so let's just put it whatever wherever we want okay and let's just run it to see what will happen and you can see nothing has changed everything is like before but uh instead of just drawing all of these tree and bushes in alien world trees tile map or tile set layer we did draw it on our surface okay that's what we have done so the next thing that i want to do i want to draw a circle okay or whatever shape you want i want to just draw a circle at the most x and most y and for the R, I want to say 13, 30. And for the outline, I don't want to be the outline, okay? So, so when we run it, there will be a circle. And because we draw our surface on the application surface, and after that, we create uh, we create our surface again with that application surface, it will stay there. So you can see what will happen here. And you can see it clearly, okay? So let's just close this. Um, first thing that I want to do, I want to make this circle black. So why? Because the black uh, black color is zero for red, zero for green, and zero for blue. And I will show you why I why I'm doing this. So let's say draw set color to see black. Okay. So with this, we make our circle black, and you can see it. So we have our black circle. What we should do now? I wanna use some blend mode in Game Maker, and for that, you say GPU set blend mode to bm subtract okay so what it does is just um, subtract the pixel on the um on our surface with the new pixel that we want to create that this is the our black circle okay and after we set that blend mode we can say gpu set blend mode to bm normal why because um, game maker in default use this normal blend mode so we should reset it to the blend mode so now let's just run it and you can see now we have this circle that with that we can see behind the objects and you can see it okay we can have a lot of good good gameplay with this right so that was for this video hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot Thank you very much for watching. Bye.